Hi there, um, my name is Julie and today we're going to be looking at our part in God's church. Now we are looking at uh, the Great Commission and it's from Matthew 28 verses 16 to 20 and if we put it in context it's when Jesus is saying his last farewells to his disciples because Jesus is going to ascend up to heaven and quite often it's known as Ascension Day or Ascension Sunday when Jesus leaves his disciples and goes to be with his Father in heaven. But he doesn't leave us with nothing behind. He gives us some words of encouragement and hope and a challenge for us to continue on in our faith. And so he tells his disciples what he wants them to do. And so he's telling us what he would like us to do and continue to be part of God's church for us today. Now, not long ago, we celebrated Easter uh, when Jesus died on the cross and came back to life again three days later. Does anyone know what happened after that? That's right. Well, Jesus stayed on earth and in Jerusalem for a while. And he was meeting people and speaking to them and giving his followers instructions, giving his disciples some instructions before he was taken up to heaven to be with his father again. On his final day on earth, Jesus had something very important to say. We call that the Great Commission, which really means an important job that Jesus has given us. He told his followers that their job was to go and make disciples of all nations. That means that we have to make sure everyone knows about Jesus. Life with Jesus is an adventure. And we know that Jesus wants us to live our lives with him, knowing him and loving him. So here he has asked us to tell other people about him so that they can join in too. It's like Jesus throwing a big party and it's our job to give out invitations. You know, it's really exciting when an invitation comes through the post and you are all excited about, oh, who's invited me to something? Is it a party? Is it a celebration? What am I going to? And you open it up and you find, ah, it's an invitation to a party. at something that we're going to. And you get all excited and you want to go and you're just excited about being there and being part of it. When it's like we have been called to send out some invitations to other people, our friends, our family, people that we may not even know yet, but to invite them to know God in their lives too. And that's what the Great Commission is about. Jesus is telling us to go into all the world and let other people know about him. So let's take some time to see where it is in our Bibles. In Matthew chapter 28, it's the very last chapter of Matthew, which is the very first book of the New Testament. And it's chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. And this is what it says. This is what Jesus said to his disciples just before he left to go up to heaven. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded them. And surely I will be with you always to the very end of the age. So let's take a look at the passage that we've just read and see what Jesus had asked his disciples to do. In fact, he had commanded his disciples to do. But it's not just for the disciples, it's for us as well today to do too. So, it was 40 days after Easter and Jesus took his disciples up a hill, up a mountain to speak to them. So we're going to climb up that mountain. Are you ready? So are you fit and healthy and can run up that mountain? Or are you taking a wee bit longer to get up that mountain because you're struggling? Oh, it's such a long way up this mountain to the top. But when they get there, 
it was time for Jesus to tell them something very, very important before he was to go back up to heaven. He was to, go to send up to God in heaven. But he left this very special promise with his disciples. He said, I am always with you. Now we're going to try and remember that. So we're going to use our hand and we're going to say, I am always with you. Okay, our five fingers. I am always with you. Can you say that with me? I am always with you. So what did Jesus say? Well done. Isn't that fantastic? That Jesus is always going to be with us no matter what. And Jesus gave them the job to do. He commanded his disciples. He said, go into all the world. They had to go into all the world. And what did they have to do? Well, they had to share the good news. Good news of what? Of God's love. The good news of God's love. With who? With everyone and everywhere. Isn't that fantastic? What did they have to do? They had to share the good news of what? God's love. With who? With everyone. Isn't that great? That was their job. That's what Jesus has asked them to do. And you know, Jesus promised them the Holy Spirit would be there with them to help them. That's the Holy Spirit, the helper that has been given to help us. Because Jesus has ascended up to heaven to be with God the Father. And so he's left behind the helper, which is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit dwells in our hearts and in our minds forever to help us, to encourage us, to be brave, to be able to share that message with other people around us. And then Jesus disappeared. Before their very eyes, he was taken up into heaven. Can you imagine standing there on the top of the mountain and seeing Jesus rising up into heaven to be with his father? Amazing. But the words of Jesus were left ringing in those disciples' ears because they had something to do. They had been commanded to do this. And what had they been commanded to do? To go into all the world. What did they have to do? They had to share the good news. And what was that good news again? God's love. And who was it for? Everyone. And where? Everywhere. To go into all the nations. Everywhere. Now some of us are too young to be going off here, there and everywhere. But we can share the good news right here where we are, in our homes, with our families, in our school, in our work, in our church, wherever we are. That's what it means to share the good news, to go and share the good news of God's love with everyone, everywhere. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that fantastic news that God is always with us? Do you remember? What did he say? I am always with you. What did he say again? Fantastic. That's great. We can go and share the good news with other people around us. Now, as Christians, we know that God is loving and powerful and good. We know because we have been told this, but not everyone has heard this news. No, not everybody knows the good news of God's love. Not everybody has heard yet. Part of inviting people to know Jesus is telling them, telling them how wonderful he is. 
And we can tell them by telling them Bible stories, by asking people to come to church, and of course, tell them what Jesus means to us and how he's changed our lives and our hearts. When Jesus was on earth, people wanted to come to him because of all the wonderful things he said, but also because of all the wonderful things he did. Jesus did special things that not everyone around him did. He loved the people who others believe were unworthy of being loved. He loved everyone, the young and the old, everyone. But he showed love especially to people who didn't quite fit in. The sick ones, the sad ones, the lost ones, the lonely ones. Jesus showed people he cared about them by listening, by praying, by healing, by saying loving and kind words to them. And you know, that's what Jesus wants us to do. To show God's love to other people around us. Not just by speaking, but by how we act and how we behave as well. Perhaps there's someone that you know who needs to know Jesus. But they may already know about Jesus, but just don't seem to want to join in. You've told them about Jesus and they know that they're loved and you just don't know what would help convince them. The great news is that God loves that person even more than you do. And God knows them. And we know all the wonderful things that can happen when we bring people to God in prayer. So we can name those people and bring them to God and say, God, I don't know what to do, but you help me if I want to speak to them or I can show God's love to them in some way. But bring them to God in prayer. Name them before God. And part of giving out the invitation to Jesus is praying that they will come. You know, when we give an invitation, we get excited that somebody's invited us to something. And we want to invite them to know God, to know Jesus in their lives today as well. Sometimes, though, it feels a wee bit of a hard, hard job for us to do that. It's a lot of hard work. Maybe inviting people to live like with Jesus feels a little bit too much effort. Or maybe we feel too embarrassed to tell people about Jesus. Perhaps we worry about what others might think of us or, or just might get cross at us. But you know, what would happen if the postman decided he didn't feel like delivering my party invitation? Well, I wouldn't know about it. And if we don't invite that invitation to others, they won't know what's happening. Other people won't know about Jesus, they won't know about God, and they won't come. And that's why it's so important to invite people to Jesus ourselves, to spread the word to everyone around us. So we have to go into all the world to share the good news of God's love with everyone, everywhere. And we don't do it on our own because the helper has been given to us, the Holy Spirit will help us as well, to give us encouragement to do the things, to go forward and to share the good news. So we're going to take a, a couple of minutes just to think and pray about people that we know that we would love to know Jesus. So we're going to ask you to close your eyes and to think about those people that you know you would love to know Jesus. And I want you to name them name them before God in your mind and say their names and take time to think about them and to say to God please God help me to let them know about you so that they too would know the good news of Jesus Christ in their lives so let's pray Lord, please help us to follow your great commission, to go out into the world and to tell others the good news about Jesus, wherever we are, 
at home, at school, at work, when we walk in the park, wherever we are, that we can share the good news of Jesus to others. Thank you that we have great news to share, that Jesus came and died for us so that we could know God for our own selves and how it changes our lives and changes things around us. Help us to share that good news. Amen.